All right, I fixed mouse acceleration, so that's gonna make this more interesting. It's actually really weird now. I can't like turbo turn around, but it feels better. So where am I going? Okay, I'm going over here. This is going to be fun. Turn up my sensitivity even higher. Nope. It's almost too low now. It's gonna be very strange. Okay. Somebody, oh, that's, this is actually gonna be kind of odd. Do you have any power notes? I actually have no idea it, what I was up to. Okay, I only have one power node. I think I spent most of, most of them before I even got here. Let's see, yeah, no, I'm poor as dirt. All right. All right, Grimdark Horrors. I'm ready for you today. Okay. Yeah, that was effective. It's nice that I can actually aim today. That worked. Man, I dig this gun. I dig being able to aim. How nice is it to actually be able to aim? Is it just me or is it kind of loud? It So the screams are always going to be a little bit loud, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, I can turn it down a little bit. Uh, so the main problem is the if the characters are going to be... Uh, the screams are tied to the uh, the voice volume. So if I want to be able to hear people when they're talking at me... The, uh, the scream is going to be loud. I hate that. I hate, hate that in horror games. Yeah, how far am I in the game? Uh, beginning of chapter 11. We're beating this tonight. And if you want to, if you want to see, uh, more of it, I've got the series going up on YouTube right now. Oh, right, it's E to open stuff, not X. What game was it? Oh, freaking Warframe is X to open stuff. See, did I fix, did they fix that in Dead Space 2? I think they did. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm fairly certain they did. That's how it is in real life, Wander. Screams are loud. Yeah, but in real life, I'm not trying to record stuff for for YouTube. Wait, where am I supposed to go in this? Back the other direction. But no, this audio balance in uh in horror games is always like real bad. The sound effects are great. Wait, here? That's it? Delivering cargo shipment 782. Kinesis module required for further cargo transport. Okay, I might have some problems here. I am dead. Okay. I forgot that many come after you. How far back does this set me? I forgot about the tentacles that would come after you. I forgot about 90% of this, actually, to be totally honest. Okay, so, right, we're apparently there. Huh. Alright, we're doing this again. I think you're supposed to avoid the monster slamming down. Yeah, but I was on a catwalk. It's a little harder. Okay, so we've got these guys over here. Did Wander sell the line gun? No, I still got it. Come on, come back. I should probably actually just shoot at this guy the more conventional manner. 
There he goes. Okay, so there's Genomicus. Now you know where I am. I think that's it. I think we're good. Oh. I think I just started the... I just started the process, didn't I? I... Uh, yes. Delivering cargo shipments. Did not mean to do that so soon. I wanted to loot this. If I remember, this has infinite enemies. Like they're somewhat endless. And if they're not endless, there's a lot of them. It's really all I remember about this segment. There's a lot. It's so nice being able to actually aim. Okay. Well, that's money. There's two. There's a third one that pops up in a second, yeah? There you go. It's real hard to actually hitting that thing. Even without the mouse acceleration turned on. Well. Okay, so it might not actually be endless. Well, that's good. So you know you can kill the stasis module to kill them faster. Uh, true. No, you're right. I, I could use the stasis module. The only reason why I'm, like, a little leery about using the stasis module, uh, is it's kind of limited reserve. Easier on me if I, uh, if I conserve that for when I'm actually, like, in an emergency as opposed to just up against kind of a nuisance. So those don't actually, they'll do that, but they don't actually really aim for you, they just hit the same spot. Okay. There's two, there's, there's stuff. I don't think we actually have anything else around here. I feel like I should go save actually. Unless I'm locked down here. No, it looks like I'm good, actually. Yeah, I, I think we're going to get more as soon as it moves. I'm going to go uh, cycle some equipment. Or save? I mean, yeah, it, it really does look like I can just wander off. What's my inventory look like? Not great. We'll save. I don't think they're gonna respawn. I I think I'll be good. I I hate the fact that it's giving me weird alternate ammo types for guns that I I don't use and generally refuse to use anyway. Oh well. Let's see how this goes. I oh right it's E. In Warframe, there's lockers almost identical to these. And so, it's super... Nope. 
notable for me. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, kind of got that. Biggin's right here, though. Nope. Biggin ain't anything. I think I lost an item down there, but I think it's, in the grand scheme of things, worth it. Get them both? I think I got them both. And the one problem is the force gun will actually... Oh, nope. Knock him around. Nice. Cool. Not used to doing that. But that's fine. But yeah, I think there were items that I have since flung into the void. Shit, I kind of needed those. Yeah, I'm out of juice, for, juice on this thing. Unless they're, like, really easy to re retrieve. I think I'm limited, yeah. Oh, well. Now, I've always got this. I mean... The force gun is actually fine. I remember getting super lost on this section. I don't really remember why. Shipment 782 to the hangar bay. Maybe it was in the next section. The cargo lift has arrived. The marker is in the hangar bay. Now you can load it into the shuttle. Hurry! Okay, there's two. These necromorphs are looking way worse for the wear. Are you not dead yet? You're not dead yet. Now you're dead. Right, you. You too. There we go. No little, no little cuddly wit wigglers coming out of that. I don't want anything to do with that. Hey, thank you, AJ Buddy, for the five-month resub. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can get out of here. We're, we are good. Perfect. Apparently the contact beam, two or three shots of Leviathan with that upgrades. That's nuts. I... I might buy one before we're out of here. But I don't know if... We'll see. Probably not. I might blow ammo on... Or money on just pure ammo at this point. Where does it want me to go? This way. Well, let's save. I got I got out of that unscathed. I don't think I took a hit, actually. Which I consider uh, to be a bit of a point of pride. My poor ammo, ammo count, though. Oof. Ain't looking good. I restored power to the elevator. Take it up to the hangar bay and get the marker on the shuttle. I'm heading up to the flight deck now. Oh, God. I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. Because, yeah, I've got a stupid amount of money. Let's see. So, I actually have a bunch of plasma energy. We don't need the pulse rounds. We don't need the flame fuel. We don't need the ripper blades. We have some force energy left. That's not much, though. So what's my favorite weapon in Dead Space? I think... I, it's a toss-up right now between the Force Gun and the Plasma Cutter. I like the Plasma Cutter because I think it's a more interesting weapon. Uh, I'm enjoying the... I'm enjoying the Force Gun just because it's really fun. Just... Uh, wombo comboing people into the dirt. 
Oh, right, right, right. I was gonna buy some more things. Yeah, I can always just buy more force energy. It's not actually that big of a deal. Especially because we're at the end of the game, there's no more suits to buy, and there's barely ever any nodes I need to even purchase. Hopefully there's a store right before the boss so I can just load up on everything. Yeah, the force gun is great, but with, uh, with upgrades, but the plasma cutter is just so efficient and powerful. Yeah, like if you're if you're accurate with the, the plasma cutter, I think it's probably the best gun in the game. Okay. I don't really know if we need the extra capacity. I'm gonna do it anyway. There we go. Under the force gun. I'm just mainly not sure about uh, fighting the uh, fighting the boss with the force gun. We might want to buy the contact beam beforehand. I don't know. I need a haircut. My hair is all like floofy, and I hate it. Part of the reason why you see so much forehead for me is because I always pull my hair back a little. Um, because I I hate I hate having hair on my forehead. It doesn't feel good, and it doesn't even look good on me. So I always just kind of like pull it back and apart. Um, but it's just oh, that light tickle drives me nutters. What's in here? Bathroom? Bathroom. Loot room. Just in case. Yeah, I'm noticing there's a lot more whispers than there was when we first got into this game. Which I like that. The ambiance changed a little bit. Either that or I'm noticing it more. I don't think so. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. <laughs> I like this gun. Why are you trying to stop me? Honest question though. Why are why are they trying to stop me? Like I thought they wanted the marker back. Or they I mean I guess well no, it's a hive mind. Or maybe they're just trying to stop me? I don't know. I kind of bounce off of reason sometimes in horror games. Okay, so it wants us to go that way. It means we're going in here. Just for a moment. <gasps> hey guys! So much blood! Oh, that beginning. What is here? I've never really gone off the beaten path in the end here. Because this game doesn't really do open world exploration. Uh, okay, there we go. I was like, that should break. All these goodies that have just been left behind for me. Uh, maybe they don't know what you're trying to do. You see, they're doing a thing with their thing, and they don't like it. Except for, like, they have all these people that are, like, you know, saying to us, make us whole again, you know? I, like, every single person that the marker is driving insane is saying, make us whole. And, like, there's the hive mind, I don't know, whatever. Maybe there's an explanation for it, and I just don't know it. Or maybe it's just Oogie Boogie creatures. I don't think there's anything else for me to loot. I'm feeling pretty good about my haul, though. Like, I am... I am... crafting ready for the apocalypse at this point. Excellent. I'm going to dock the shuttle. You've got to be careful now. 
Careful. All right, keep grabbing those stasis packs. We're probably going to need them. Shuffle down now. The automated loading controls aren't responding. You'll have to shut down gravity in the hangar bay and then manually bring the marker directly beneath the shuttle. Hey, Isaac, the gravity ain't working. Go fix it. Hey, Isaac, shuttle's not working. Go fix it. Hey, Isaac, the whole ship ain't working. Go fix it. Hey, Isaac, the aliens are killing everybody. Go fix it. Hey, Isaac, your face ain't working. Go fix it. I mean, I'm not actually mad about this, but I'm just imagining, like, poor Isaac is, like, he might not even be losing his... Oh, man. Isaac's not even going insane because of the marker. He couldn't give le less of a shit. The only thing that bothers him about any of this is just the fact that he has to go for, for every single human being on this ship. He's just so tired of it. His mind is breaking away. And yes, I, I know I know he's actually like losing his mind for other reasons and you know there are very definitive signs. So it wants me to go that way. What's over here? Nothing. I think I actually run faster with the plasma cutter. I'll keep that in mind. Dude must be hungry. Like, I've never seen Isaac eat. Any food. Since we got here. Oh look, favors. Strafe them. What the? Oh, must have been explosives. Ow. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, where's the last one? There you are. There you are, you little sucker. Come on, show me them tents. There we go. Beautiful. Well, you know, we could just cut off two and they die. I'm not entirely sure under- uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Alright. Any other goodies? Can't really tell. Which one's dropped things. There's some stuff. Funny. Okay, good. So there's gonna be another shop after this point. Oh, hey, there's stuff over here. I want a game like this. Where... There's the obvious hero, and they just die. In the scene, starts the action, the uh, like alien invasion or whatever. Then it zooms on the janitor off screen, and you play as them. I would love that, especially if like they straight up can't fight for the first half of the game, and they're just like they're just like uh, non-functional for a little while, and just running in fear. I don't know if any of you guys saw Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor. Weird game. Interesting idea. Kind of bounced off the uh, the actual gameplay. Oh, that's switch tracks. But uh, you pretty much all you did was just walk around and clean up trash and stuff. And I'd love to see that like expressed from a horror perspective. Okay, can't go any further. Did 
that it? Are we good? Oh, I see. I see how this is supposed to work. I even... I even have this. Hear him. Man, their arms are just hard to take off. Is that it? Is that all there is? Oh, hey, money. It's somewhere deep in the terms of service in the contract, it says if the hero dies while you're in the scene, you take over. Oh, that would be hilarious. Like, contractually ob obligated janitor hero that doesn't belong. I, so, not exactly in the same vein, but I'd love to play like a magic magical girl game like that. Where like, you are some like grizzled old dude. You're some grizzled old dude. Oh, I am acing every one of these shots. Really? Okay, where's the other one? There's the other one. You're some grizzled old dude, and like, you know, the magical girl or the, um, you know, the Sentai character dies, uh, fighting evil, maybe even saving the main character. Or, like, other people around, and, uh, and they pass away, and, you know, the, the person's, like, kind of choked up because a human being just died in front of him or something like that. And they're like, but you have to take over for me. And they're like, wait, hold up. What? You have, like... Okay, it's in position. Uh, still having trouble with these damn loading controls. Isaac, restore gravity to the room. I should be able to load the marker then. Probably see if there's any, like, weird goodies in places. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you can go far. Not really a whole lot of reason to go this far out, but there's some goodies out here. What Wander's talking about is called This is a Zombie. I have never heard of that. Also, thank you, Lucifer. Uh, Lucifelith. Lucifelith. Lucifelith? You know, I, I think I've always just mentally pronounced it as Lucifelth, and it's like, wait, no, 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 no. There's actually more to that name. Like, what about a baby becoming Green Lantern? <laughs> but I don't know. It would just be amusing. Like, uh... I mean, I guess that's what kind of Shazam is supposed to be, sort of. Sort of? Sort of not, I don't know. I just want a really goofy story where it's like, the hero is just some guy. Like, I, I know that's kind of how uh, One Punch Man started. Um, but I, I just want it to be like, consistently the entire way through. It's like a JRPG. Oh man, okay. Final Fantasy X, but Titus doesn't exist and it's just Auron from the start. How wild would that game have been? I would have enjoyed that. I would have enjoyed that so much. Exiting zero gravity. Loading cargo shipment 782. It's on board. Please come and join me. Together we can stop this hive mind. We can end this nightmare at last. <laughs> Or like, not exactly in the same vein, but uh, when I was uh, when I was a kid, I played the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King action RPG on the GameCube, and you could cheat. Uh, you you could cheat and then play as any character, and so we played with 
uh, Faramir, and Sam. And it was amazing, because the game wasn't balanced for Faramir's damage. So it was effectively some dude just on, like, a, a stomp through Mordor. Uh, like, when you, the final fight against Gollum, Faramir just comes up and just pummels him into the ground. Uh, can you, you can link it on, on Discord? Yeah, go for it. Uh, but it was hilarious for me because it was just some other dude, the wrong guy, in the right place, technically. It was amusing. Final Fantasy was technically a game about four random schmucks that had to save the world. Huh. Sorry, Isaac. I couldn't let him go through with it. I suppose I should thank you for finding the marker. We even managed without help from the USM Valor. Thank you for helping me find it, by the way. My department's been looking for this place for a long time. See what kind didn't know us? It was the government's mess to begin with. This whole planet is one big experiment. The marker? This <laughs> divine relic? Made by man. They reverse engineered it a couple of hundred years ago from the real marker, a true alien artifact recovered on Earth. They dug it up, studied it, and they made it their own. Then they brought it to Aegis 7 and activated it. And you've seen the result. The stuff of nightmares. They sealed the system, and no one would have been the wiser. But then the CEC blunders in and starts tearing the planet apart. The experiment was still alive. Kind was right about the hive mind. The marker would contain it, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I have the marker, and this entire system can go to hell. For what it's worth, you did a great job, Isaac. See you around. Or maybe not. <laughs> Isaac, Nicole, I need you to help me. Help us, now. I'm... I'm in the flight control room. Please, Isaac, hurry. Please!